Hello, everyone, and welcome to Elon Phoenix Weekly. I'm Tyler Lundquist, and as you can see, we are not in the studio due to Elon University closing campus for the remainder of the school year. So we will be bringing you further episodes remotely. As we cannot be on campus at this time, many of our segments will be postponed, and we hope to show you more when campus operations resume. Now and for the foreseeable future, I'm coming to you from my house in Seattle, Washington. This episode will take a look back at one of the most historic wins in Elon men's soccer history. This past October, the Duke Blue Devils came to Elon, and up to that point, Elon had lost 10 straight to Duke. So we'll send it to the booth with Javik Blake and Tom Castle, who are on the call for the condensed version of this historic win. It's an ACCC matchup tonight here at Rudd Fields. The 4-7-1 Ewan Phoenix take on the 6-4-1 Duke Blue Devils on a beautiful Tuesday night in North Carolina. Welcome inside our pregame show, folks. Javik Blake, Tom Castle here with you on what should be a fantastic night for soccer. And Tom, looking at Elon's last game, a big 2-0 non-conference victory at Liberty. Absolutely, and that's going to bring a lot of momentum coming into this game at home at Rudd Field, and they're just trying to look for an opportunity to get back up to 500 and focus more on conference play because that's going to be the big push when they're going for the CAA tournament. And especially getting to that CAA tournament, they got three games left. They're going to need to win all three, but an upset tonight over a Duke team that was ranked until today would be absolutely huge, but Duke coming off a loss at Notre Dame, 1-0 the final in a game that was very close. Notre Dame just squeaked in a goal at the end. Absolutely. Notre Dame playing a hard-fought battle with Duke. And ultimately, Duke just got out shot in that game 15-6, to and that, what's re that is what really cost them in that game. And so Duke's going to try to look for an opportunity to score early and score as fast as possible for the Blue Devils to try to get up early on the Phoenix. And as far as tonight's game, who are you looking for both the Phoenix and the Blue Devils to really make an impact? For the Phoenix, I'm looking more towards the freshman, Burl Shepard. He's been an unstoppable force for the Phoenix so far. He's got a lot of experience for a freshman player with over 430 minutes to his name and has been very effective in those 430 minutes with four goals to his name leading the entire team. Moving more towards Duke, it's going to be Daniele Poach. And he's an unbelievable player for the Blue Devils. You know, he's put up eight goals with three assists, 19 points to his name in total. He's been the leading effort on their offense, and so he's going to have to make a big shot out early to try to win. And just a little tidbit on Pro. Duke scored 21 goals this season. He has 11 of them and has been involved in 11. A fantastic player, someone who's really going to make a big impact tonight. But as far as the Phoenix and especially Mark Reeves is concerned, what's their key to victory tonight? The big thing that they're going to have to do is control the first half of this game. Duke likes to get very aggressive and catch people off guard by trying to score a quick goal in the first half and try to be very aggressive up front. So Elon's going to have to hold down the defense and really put a lot of pressure on Duke to stay out of their territory. Well, it should be a fantastic game tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this short break with starting 11s, goalkeepers, and first kick, all from right here at Rudd Field. Stick with us. You're watching Elon Soccer on Flow Sports. coverage on Flow Sports. I'm Javik Blake alongside Tom Castle and first let's take a look at the starting lineups for both teams. First for the Duke Blue Devils they'll go with a 4-4-2 formation which we've seen a lot from them recently. It'll be Pinto, Murphy, Stanley and Frick in the backfield. In the midfield it'll be O'Connor, Viracone, Moser and Williamson and up top it'll be Daniele Proak the man we highlighted in the pregame show as well as right. For Elon they'll go with a 4-5-1 formation. It'll be Lem, Snow Matthews and Green in the backfield. In the midfield, it'll be Holvik, Adam Check, Walden, Cooper, and Vesterholm. And up top, it'll be Chuki Tayali. And an interesting tactical move for Elon going with the 4 5 1. Absolutely, and that's just really them trying to hold back on that defense. Once again, this is a team that likes to be very aggressive, and the one big thing that they're going to have to do is make sure that they're going to outshoot the Blue Devils here because consistently among the four games that they lost so far this season, they've been outshot in every single one of those games. Clemson, they, in that loss, they were 22-5 to in comparison to shots. In the UVA game, it was an 11-10 to 
for UVA, SMU 13 to one, and for this previous Notre Dame game, it was a 15 to six. And as you see in your screen, Will Polisic, the starting keeper in net tonight for the Duke Blue Devils, the 5'11", 175 pound junior from Mechanicsville, Virginia, 6'4 and one on the year, looking for win number seven as we get underway, finally, on a beautiful night for soccer here at Road Fields. You just saw Peter Wenzel in net for the Elon Phoenix. The redshirt freshman standing in at 6'3", 204 pounds. Here in Elon, North Carolina tonight, the temperature 69 degrees, no clouds in sight, no rain as well. So it should be a fantastic 90 minutes of soccer as Peter Wenzel lines up for the goal kick. Yeah, and that was a very aggressive start there for the Blue Devils, just getting it straight downfield as quickly as possible trying to line up a shot but not a good opportunity there for them. Elon getting their third throw in here. They've really got to make sure to capitalize, try to find someone open and quickly get that pass in. As you see in the box, it's Tuka Tiali, Nick Adam check. The throw wafted on in. Misses Tiali's head. Can't quite get there as Duke is able to just momentarily kick it out. Haphazardly shot. Shot it from outside the box. Picked up by Will Polisic, and if the name Polisic sounds familiar to you, yes, that is the cousin of American soccer star Christian Polisic, plays for the U.S. men's national team in Chelsea as well. It was one of the biggest transfer fees in American soccer history, $73 million back in 2019 to move from Borussia Dortmund to Chelsea. Will Polisic holds for a moment, sends it back up. Good one-touch move. Now they'll play back inside the box. And it's Peter Wenzel there to grab it. As far in as he was hoping for there, and that'll quickly switch the possession back over to the Blue Devils. And Webb looks like his momentum might have been taking him to the near side sideline. Just couldn't get enough on the shot, but now a takeaway and a foul called against Duke. And we might get a card as well. And there we go. Mateus Frick will pick up the yellow card. The six foot two, 195 pound junior from Feldkirk, Austria. As we'll get a replay here. Just overall a very fast paced play there. Just tripped up a little bit and that's ultimately what cost him the card there. But they played four different ranked teams. They've gone two and two, but an interesting matchup here tonight for Ewan trying to get a victory as Casper Lamb crosses it inside the box. The shot off the crossbar and finding its way back out. A fantastic chance just hitting the wrong side of the crossbar as the Phoenix thought they had the 1 0 lead. Ewan trying to get super aggressive there. Nearly had the shot coming in there, just a little bit high. As we'll now get, once again, that replay. Just a fantastic job there by Walden to get the ball up and just a little bit too high for the crossbar there and bounced off. 19th minute of action here, 0-0 no -no the score. Elon's best chance hitting the crossbar just a few moments ago as the pass just going wide to the foot of Max Moser as he'll recoup. Looks to set it in towards the box. The cross off the foot of a Phoenix and out of play for a corner. Almost a dangerous situation for an own goal. It was a great job there by Luke Matthews, quickly seeing the opportunity there on that attempt from the Blue Devils and quickly getting it out. Just a fantastic kick up and high to force the Blue Devils to go for a corner. In the corner, once again, will be taken by Max Moser. Sitting next to him is Daniel Wright. As Moser runs up, sends it on net with a flick of a foot. Not getting quite high enough. Missed opportunity from the Duke Blue Devils, but here comes the Phoenix going the other way with it. It's Matthias Cooper looking to get around some defenders. He's brought it all the way downfield. And inside the 18-yard box, they'll play it back towards midfield. Frick controls it, brings through quite a few defenders, looking to get around one more man on the near side. The shot back towards the center of the save, and another save and another crossbar opportunity hitting wide. And that's Duke right there for you, really trying to surprise the team, try to create as much shots as they can, going back to back on those shots right there. And how about Peter Wenzel sticking out his left leg at the final moment, able to block it with his shin guard and send it wide. And a dangerous chance for the Duke Blue Devils. 
And just like Ewan's most dangerous chance tonight, both of them hitting the crossbar and going wide. We get a quick replay here from Elon Sports Vision. Just an unbelievable save right there by Wetzel. And just a little bit high for the Blue Devils to be able to bring that in. Well, tonight as Elon has it inside the box. A good one touch move. Sends it on in. Tyoli, the diving header, can't quite get it. As they'll play it back towards Adam Check. The second chance opportunity right into the hands of Will Polisic. And another fantastic offensive look. For Elon, they got some space inside the box, but once again, couldn't find the back of the net. Duke doing a very good job trying to tighten their defense up here. Ranked all within the top 66. You had Williamson, News, Proke, Stanley, and Plissick ranked 19, 26, 39, 43, and 66. So a lot of good talent on this roster, but it's Vladdy Johnson curving through everyone. The shot saved by Polisic. And a good reactionary save, but a second chance opportunity still working. Four for Elon and Shepard. Number 29. Elon Sports Vision. Just a fantastic and job and there and for and Johnson. Now it's Elon. Whole Vic has it. Back at midfield. We'll play it all the way back to Lewis Green. Elon doing a good job of stealing possession back from the Blue Devils and making it a lot more difficult for them to try to get out of their own side. As now Elon with the takeaway and the look for a chance inside the box. The shot going wide and Pulisic gets in. A fantastic chance as it might actually be called off here. And for the Elon Phoenix, they've played Duke 16 times. Now 17, they've been shut out 10, but not tonight. Just going wide of Polisic. Just an ultimate mismatch there for the Blue Devils as Elon just had a lot more players down towards their side of the field and really created a great chance for the Phoenix. And they're able to capitalize on it. And what a camera angle as well. Burl Shepard, he's only started two games all season. He's come on as a sub. In nine other games, and now leads the team in scoring, extends his team lead in scoring with five goals in the season. It's a cliche thing to say, but as soon as I stepped on campus, I knew it was the one. Because there's nothing like actually stepping on Elon's campus and seeing what we're really about. Just come to Elon. Like, just experience Elon once, and you will, you will always come back. Blue Devils are going to get a free kick here. Elon struggling a little bit to keep them outside of their territory in the start of the second half, and they've really got to make sure to keep that pressure up as we'll now get that free kick. As Max Moser set to take it. Curls it in, a fantastic chance right inside the box. Headed out by Iguan and it'll be played all the way back to San Pinto. 10 yard box, they'll send it in on net. The shot, glancing on in. And caught easily by Peter Wenzel who's just done a fantastic job in net. Him and Iguan's back line. Duke always trying to keep that opportunity for that pass in right there. Is that one just going to go a little bit? The shot low? inside the box. They got a chance as they squeak it out deep. It's Stephen O'Connell. Lofts it on towards that Peter Wenzel with a big leap. He's able to catch it. Another huge catch there for Wenzel. Doing a fantastic job. Really just keeping his presence in the goalie box. And we'll get a replay of the save as Elon looked to get a run, but Wenzel just a great. Jumping save, able to stop the opportunity. If you're unfamiliar with college soccer, the Herman Trophy, basically the Heisman Trophy of college soccer. As the ball deflected wide, and it'll be Duke with another corner and another opportunity to put some pressure on Peter Wenzel. 
as we're going to replay the block shot. A lot of momentum there for the Blue Devils. And once again, Elon holding on on defense. And this is going to be the sixth corner for the F Blue Devils here. And they'll do a little different approach. Sends it out to Hassan Pinto. The shot goes off of Proke. Goes off of Tuwali. Picked up by Mateus Frick. Sends it up to the top to O'Connell. He's trying to make something happen inside the 18. Looks to cross it back over. Blocked by the Phoenix. And sent all the way back out. Janair Snover sending it all. The Moonhole Vic placed the near side of Matthias Cooper. Sends it on towards the box. The shot, the second chance opportunity by Chuka Tayali. Just goes wide. A lot of bodies in front. Elon and really. The ball just stuck out. And a goal kick and a player down inside the box. But what a sequence. Able to play it in front. Chuka Tayali just sent it wide as we'll get. A little bit of a replay here. And Shuki Tayali, what a second chance. Yeah, just a fantastic job by Cooper getting the pass in. Tayali almost there, gets the first kick, and that's going to be quickly defended by Pulsic. The second one just a little bit too high and is not quite able to get there. And a great effort by Holvik to try to get after the ball. And it's a shame to see him down. As Duke sends it forward, through the legs of Proke, and a fantastic chance now. Daniel Wright has it. They've got some numbers, sends it to the far side, looking to feed it back towards Proke inside the box. They do the shot, and we're all tied up in one. Just a lot of great communication there by the Blue Devils, really trying to create some fast momentum there. That's a the Blue Devils a good job of reading the field, seeing an open player down with right, and we'll get to see a replay of again, right being able to set Proke up for that chance on goal and ultimately Winston just a little bit off there of the ball and that's going to go in for a goal for the Blue Devils. And you can't script a better counterattack than right there from the Blue Devils. Daniel Wright taking it out with ease, sending it to the far side, finding Daniele Proke. Got to make one big push getting closer towards the end of this half. As Duke plays it back towards midfield, Bronte sends it wide. Now a little bit tied up. Bronte almost had an opportunity. Would have been a fantastic run right outside the box. The only thing stopping it, the leg of Colby Agu. But now a chance for Elon. It's Janair Snover. Sends it wide and deep. Knocked down in the box. We're going to get a whistle and we're going to get a penalty shot. That was a big penalty shot. Opportunity there is he's getting rather physical and just some slip ups back and forth. We'll get a replay here from our friends back in Elon Sports Vision. And ultimately, just a little bit of a slip up there. And we have an Elon defender sliding under after a quick bump from a Blue Devil. And that's going to create that penalty kick for the Phoenix. Head referee Richard Crowley determining just a bit too much of a push. But now, just a few yards away from goal, it'll be Inigo Bronte. Elon on the season. They've had two chances at a penalty kick. They're one for two. And they're facing one of the best goalkeepers in NCAA soccer, Will Pulisic. It's Inigo Bronte, the redshirt senior from Pamplona, Spain. Bronte runs up, shoots it, up and over Will Pulisic, and he won. Gets the lead to the oh, 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 Number four of the season. And that's exactly why you put Bronte in. You've got to get somebody who's fresh and warm to try to capitalize as we get a replay here. Just straight down the middle, high up, and ultimately Pulisic was just not ready for that penalty kick right there. And you can see the excitement on the Phoenixes. They're now leading two to one against the Blue Devils. Penalty kick, one of the hardest things to stop in all of sports. You got to credit Inigo Bronte. Faking towards his right, going right down the center. Doesn't get any better than that for the Elon Phoenix. Well, they now have a 2-1 lead with 15 minutes to go in the match. The Elon defense is really just trying to push that ball back up into Duke territory and once again move that back line to midfield as quickly as possible. But they're not able to do that. And here comes Duke again right outside the 18-yard box. Curves it high and wide and off the frame. Went off two posts, the crossbar and the near side post. But it goes to the foot of Daniele Proke. He's trying to make some magic as it goes up and out of play. And it'll be an Elon throw it. And we'll get a replay here. Just, Just glancing off the crossbar. 
Just a little bit high there, bounces off of both of them, and if it didn't bounce off of that near side crossbar, that might have gone in. Duke now getting back into that situation where they're struggling with that communication, and they've really got to make clear, correct passes, look for as many opportunities and options on the field. The usher and native sends it inside the box, goes through a few defenders, but he won't go the other way with it. The first is being the far side, they'll feed it. Now they'll play it back. Lewis Green has it. They'll look for a brace. They'll send it on towards net, but instead, Jess kicked wide, chasing after it as Will Pulisic. He'll corral it with a sliding stop. And it's crunch time now. 70 sec 80 second minutes. 2-1 the score. Elon up by just one goal. Thanks to Inigo Bronte. Penalty kick back in the 74th minute. Duke setting themselves up with a very strong offense here, trying to run as many plays as they possibly can and push it out to the sides, but just not able to get it to the wings. As Ian Murphy sends this one forward, Daniele Proak controls it, sends it far side. Casper Lem is marking Max Moser. Moser, we've seen him a lot on the corner kicks tonight. There's a lot of bodies in front. Luke Matthews, obviously the biggest head there. The shot goes in the back of the net. It's Daniele Proak again. And that's exactly what Elon does not need at this time. And just a little bit of miscommunication there by the Phoenix. And now you're equalizing up the game once again. Matthews with a great header there, but just a straight pass over to Proke. And ultimately, Proke is able to bring that ball in and bring it in for a goal. There's a reason why Daniele Proke was named to the Herman Trophy watch list before this season. And Luke Matthews looked like he had a great chance, heading it right out of the air. But Daniele Proke doing a fantastic job kicking it out of midair with his body almost parallel to the ground, sending it into the back of the net past Peter Wenzel. And it's gone from a 2-1 game in which Elon looked like they had everything going for him. So now a 2-2 game, and at this point, we're almost looking at overtime. This is a pressure situation for the Phoenix. Now they're getting some space out, but they really got to try to drive in some pressure here. And try to stop the Blue Devils as quickly as possible to try to keep this game from going into overtime. And if Elon wants to score here, they're going to have to do it in the next few moments. 88th of 90 minutes played, 2-2 the score. Back and forth action all night tonight. No one's had a lead of more than one. And Duke hasn't led at all in this match. They've only been able to tie it. They're trying to take the lead in the last few moments. As Duke plays it on in, and once again, they're going to try and find Daniele Proak inside the box. Getting physical there, and that's going to cost the Blue Devils a foul there and a free kick opportunity for the Phoenix as they're really just trying to get as quickly as possible to it. And they will. They're going to have a big rush here in the last, well, 100 seconds in this second half. It'll be Luke Matthews to do the honors on the free kick. They got Tayali. Nick Adam check up front. They'll send it towards Tayali, but instead headed straight back by Mateus Frick. And now bring it up is the Phoenix. And a foul called. And now a stoppage, and we'll get a yellow card. Getting tied up there is Janair Snover, and a yellow card shown to Eden Stanley. And so a great opportunity as they'll now have a minute 20 left here. You can just see that trip right there, ultimately given an opportunity for the Phoenix to get a free kick and kind of reset themselves back up to try to get a chance to score a last minute goal. And just a quick correction, Daniel Wright will get the yellow card, but it'll be Casper Lemp to do the honors on the free kick. 80 seconds left in the second half, all tied up at two. It'll be Casper Lemp trying to send the Phoenix ahead in this one for the third time in the match. To put him ahead 3-2. All the pressure is here right now. 14 shots total for the Phoenix compared to the six that the Blue Devils have. You're just trying to create as many shot opportunities. And here comes Casper Webb, the freshman in front of the net. The shot finds its way in in the final moment. Unbelievable shock and pandemonium right there as they can't believe it on that one. 
just can't unstoppable. Script it much better than this. They go up 1-0. Daniele Proke is able to tie it up. They go up 2-1. Daniele Proke is able to tie it up. And on a mass melee in front of the net, in the 89th minute, the Elon Phoenix take the lead. Just a great shot there by Lem, creating a nice header attempt there by Holvik. And Holvik just barely getting his body there on the ball, and it ultimately sends it right in off, off of a missed opportunity by Pulsik. Freshman to freshman, Casper Lem to Moon Holvik. Moon Holvik, his second goal. And from Denmark to Norway, the Elon Phoenix have a 3-2 lead and are just 72 seconds away from beating the Blue Duke Blue Devils for the second time in program history. And now here comes Nick Adamchek, trying to create a brace. Now Mass on the near side, right outside the box, looks to cross it back in. He'll get it back, plays it to the far side, a diving header in front, and the Phoenix just a centimeter away from going ahead by two as it goes out of play. And that was a former Elon soccer player, Hassan Pinto, with almost a bicycle kick there to try to get it up and out of the way, and he did. 36 seconds left, Elon leading with a chance for a corner kick to try to bring it to four. Duke in shock on the sideline if Elon wins. They'll have some nice transitive wins as well, especially over Clemson. As it goes out of play, the upset just a few moments away. 20 seconds left in this first half. Duke stunned on the sideline. Elon about ready to erupt. The Moon Hole Vuk right now with the game winning goal in the 89th minute. And we'll get another whistle as well. Some rearranging of players, but Elon about ready to erupt from their sideline. Duke this year against ranked teams two and two. Ten, ten, nine. Eight, Falling out of seven, the rankings for six, Elon, they'll send it over five, the touchline. Mark four, Reeves getting three, some hugs on the sideline, and the clock will run out. The upset is complete. The Duke Blue Devils fall in Elon, North Carolina. Just an unbelievable performance there by the Phoenix. Stopping at no possible end to try to get that victory right there. And they're going to walk away with a huge win. We'll get a quick replay of that ending goal right there. Just an unbelievable job there by Lem setting up. The good whole Vic, we saw this earlier, ran right to the backside of Hassan Pinto, got the wind knocked out of him, got off the pitch for a while. But Casper Lem playing it perfectly to the moon hole Vic, the Norwegian native running right over to the camera, and the Elon Phoenix complete the upset of the Duke Blue Devils as Duke falls to 6 5 and 1 on the season. Elon, without a win in the CEA, all of a sudden knocks off a team that came into the season ranked number 10. They'll go to 5 7 and 1. Let's get you the scoring summary. Burl Shepard, first goal of the game for the Elon Phoenix, goal number 5 on the season for him, scored in the 39th minute for Duke. Well, they came out in the second half firing and they were able to tie it up with the Dan Daly Pro goal assisted by Cole. Good Daniel Wright in the 64th. For Elon, though, Diego Bronte came on in the 72nd minute, scored on a penalty kick in the 74th for his fourth goal of the season. And then Daniele Proke, well, he was done with the game being 2 1, decided to tie it up at 2 2. Goal number 10 on the season for him. And then in the 88th minute, the Moon Holvik scoring off a Casper Lem free kick to give Elon the 3 2 victory. Tom, final thoughts. You know, this is just going to create some large momentum for the Phoenix now getting on a two game win streak going in back into conference play with three games against CAA opponents really just trying to focus on that CAA tournament that's left in shot at this point. Well for the U1 Phoenix an upset victory and the biggest victory of their season. They beat the Duke Blue Devils for the first time well since 2014. Five years in the making they complete the upset. For all of our crew here at Elon Sports Vision, a fantastic 3-2 victory. And just a big thank you to Sam Newman, our director, Maggie Bolsonari, Drew Gentry, TJ Walsh, and Halen Bergerie on the cameras. For audio, Jared Bender, and for replay, Jacob Myers. Alongside Tom Castle, I'm Jay McBlake saying good night on what was a fantastic night for Elon Soccer. 3-2, your final.